My Nature Watch project is a collaboration between um, Goldsmiths Interaction Research Studio and um, Design Products at the RCA. So when we were designing it, um, everything had to be repairable. We had to use the least amount of intervention. Yeah, it had to be able to be manufactured like on your kitchen table um, with tools that were around you. Um, and I think it's quite an interesting model. I read that um, the My Nature Watch project led to um, a project for rewilding storks in the UK, which um, I thought was really cool. But do you think there's more kind of opportunities in this area of collaboration between kind of citizen science um, and like academia and design? I think they go hand in hand and yeah. they, they all have different roles and these are my beliefs other people are more than welcome to disagree with me um so academic institutions one we impart knowledge to students um and that's kind of our role but academic institutions have the opportunity to to do things that you could you couldn't do in any other place yeah I so i don't think we should be serving industry I think we should be redefining what industries are doing and how they're going. Then you've got the practice, which is design, and then you've got the people that you're working with. So really, I think that sometimes we should focus just as much effort and kind of resources in how we're designing projects as well as how we're designing physical artifacts to put in the world. I've I've been involved in a number of projects um, for citizen science, and I think it's um, it's also how we use that data, where it goes, who owns it, what people get for it, and kind of just being transparent. Um, and it's the also the motivation, so people participate in citizen science um, mainly for to gain knowledge because they're interested. What role? do you think design should play um, and can play when it comes to global issues such as biodiversity and habitat loss? I think there are many, um, and it depends on kind of where they are in the chain. Within a lot of my work, what I'm calling ecological citizenship, so the fact that we have, we do acts. If you get vaccinated, you are doing an act of citizenship also for other people to benefit other people. Um, parking your car correctly, not having a car, what, how, whatever you choose it, you're going beyond your own means. Individuals generally, they feel like they're kind of powerless, whereas actually, you know, really simple things like how can we link gardens um, to be able to come wildlife corridors? And that that's a really small thing, but actually if you do that in a street, those things scale and multiply. For me, design is that kind of glue that enables other people to do other things. And I, I agree with um, NGO Manzini that the most important thing we do is design the conditions that we want to create. Yeah, of course. Has My Nature Watch, and don't worry if it hasn't, <laughs> given you any interesting insights when it comes to um, the relationship between humans and non-humans um, in the kind of domestic space? Yeah, I mean, I think the thing is, is that there have been so many um, anecdotes of kind of people's experiences, people who are now talking to their neighbours because they, you know, they spotted similar wildlife, um, people that have started to plant different species in their gardens because they spotted something and they wanted to encourage something. And we didn't really, I'll be honest, we didn't really think about that this would happen but there was a relationship with how people built the cameras then there was a relationship with how people placed them and how they um changed the architectures of the spaces they were using them in so like people built ponds and people why because they wanted to spot frogs and they were talking to their local um climate club because they were spotting species at different times of year and things like that yeah. um, and they were like yeah they it, it's not what they signed up for they just did it and and that's why I say the product is people's mindset and it's the engagement not just the thing and I think that's 
for me, that's its own discipline in its own right. How do we catalyze um, ecological citizenship within communities? Um, that's its own future design practice, because I think that's what we should be doing. <laughs>